Hello everyone, it's IDDT Torm giving you another shady figure review. This time it's a Jinx from League of Legends, another League of Legends figure. Um, this one in particular is a bootleg, um, but it's not a bootleg of anything else. It's an original design, so the sculptors didn't copy anyone else's uh, idea. Uh, this in particular is a $30 figure. Uh, it just popped up around a month ago on eBay and Amazon. A bunch of them popped up and I really don't know anything else about it or where it came from. And, yeah, uh, this one is about 10 inches, 10 centimeters tall. I uh, didn't receive a box with it. It got shipped in just pure bubble wrap. And it looks pretty good at first glance, which you really care about for bootleg figures. Um, if you really want to show off, you should be careful because people will be like, this is fake. And, in fact, most League of Legends figures are fake. But, yeah. So, going into detail... Uh, Paints all right, the eyes and face are not bad, which is a big plus. And her skin tone is a little pale, but I think that it fits because, you know, Jinx is super pale. Her, uh, what is this? Pow Pow minigun is actually really cool. It hangs loose. It's attached right here on her shoulder. And the rest of it's loose, so it could be moved around. But to the side is really cool. Um, Zap is on her holster and doesn't move, and Shark Bones is also on her back and does not move. Um, <clears throat> she is held together on a stand. This stand's very... It, it looks great at first glance, but if you were really picky, you would really hate it, because right here it says Jinx in her cool uh, graffiti style, where she tagged, but and it also says The Shooter, and that's just weird. So, yeah... <laughs> She's held onto the base by two pegs on each foot, and it's actually really difficult. It was really difficult for me to get the two pegs in the, in the base. I was afraid I was going to break it by shoving it in, but it actually came in pretty well. And her hair is also on a peg to the base. Unfortunately, this one's very fragile, and it could snap off if you force it in too hard. And I haven't even forced it in all the way. But it wouldn't be too bad because it's still flimsy around, or flimsy, it'll hang around like hair. If you did break it off, it wouldn't take away from the overall figure. Um, you really can't say much else about it. There, um, there are visible lines on where the plastic molds were, but other than that, it's pretty good. It's a uh, thirty dollars again, really cheap for basically most of the details on Jinx. This is Jinx's classic skin. I don't know. I didn't memorize all of her nuances and specifics because I don't know if these bullets are right. I don't know if they're cross or whatever, but I do know that it looks great. Um, this figure is not for me. I bought it for my sister who barely plays League of Legends, but I thought she'd like it. So if you're looking for a cheap figure this holiday season that isn't crap and is pretty cool, check out this one. Um, two more Jinx figures appeared on the eBay market. Um, I have not looked into those. I think they're about forty dollars or something. And it's um, one, one of them uh, mimics her classic skin, in her pose, but she's um on top of a building, um, kneeling over. Uh, that one I kind of avoided because the face kind of didn't do it right for me. And yeah, this is what we got so far. I hope you guys do enjoy, and please look into purchasing a similar figure in the future. Thank you.